Crescent Radio. Yeah, on Crescent Radio. Crescent Radio. Who would have thought that? Yeah, we're at Crescent Radio Station with the president here, Tahir. And the media manager. Josh. Are the following Josh 786 Manchester, that's my YouTube channel. Yeah. Well, we're just doing an interview at Crescent Radio. Coming out soon on 97, was it? Point some Point FM, we'll let you know soon. But yeah, just in our first ever radio interview with Crescent Radio, with Crescent Riders. Crescent Riders are uh, predominantly a Muslim biking group. Uh, we're based in Rochdale, Oldham and Manchester. Uh, formed in 2018, early 2018, it was myself and a brother called Lashad. And we were riding all over and what we found was there was lacking um, a group where Muslims can ride out, um, attend uh, you know, Salah, attend um, halal restaurants and the routes are not really catered or geared for Muslim riding. So we got together and Josh joined us soon afterwards. Yeah. Um, and what we did was we devised routes that incorporated masjids, that incorporated um, coffee, uh, cafe shops and um, halal restaurants where we can go out as a group, as a collective, um, have a good ride, get some good routes in, but also maintain our deen and also um, do some charity work as well, which is one of our found, uh, found sort of foundations as well so we've raised money and predominantly we we do halal things so we'll go to like um, halal places because usually groups go to pubs or bars or they go to routes where there's cafe or you know for bacon butty or whatever what have you so we we thought we'd go and do go something small cells yeah and small cells and chutney yeah so yeah, i think yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. So it's like a social group it's a social, it's a social group, group yeah. yeah obviously you know we're just yeah, you know a bunch of guys having fun with motorbikes it's our hobby it's our passion you know, uh, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted a motorbike, and you know, to pass my license, it was, you know, it was a really happy moment for me, because okay. everyone can drive a car, but when you ride motorbikes, it's a different lifestyle altogether. And I believe if you're a good motorcycle rider, you also makes you a safer car driver as well. Okay. So it's not just about having fun; you also learn other skills riding a motorcycle. It always feels dangerous on a motorbike. It feels well. People think it looks dangerous. But in all honesty, it, cars can be dangerous as well. But I think if you're responsible and you've gone through all the uh, professional lessons with the direct access course, which is the name of the course that you've got to go to to uh, pass your bike test, then you can become a really good rider. you just got to respect all the regulations, just like as if you're driving and you can be one of the safest riders out there. So what sort of bikes are there that you use? Have you all got different bikes or similar ones? Yeah. Josh, start. Well, uh, my bike is uh, a power cruiser. Okay. Uh, so while so most it's expensive. Yeah, it's uh, yeah it's fairly expensive. Yeah, but I've, you know, saved up all my life. Uh, so I'm quite proud of my bike. It's 1800 cc V twin. So if anybody knows their bikes out there, this one's uh, a beast. I call it the beast. And you can go up to 140 miles per hour. But obviously, I keep within the speed obviously. limits. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, uh, we're, we are all inclusive for bikes. I mean, I've got a sports bike, so I've got Ninja, the green one. Um, and I ride safely at the majority of times. But we have got everything from cruisers to uh, sports bikes mm. to Taurus um, to some 125cc bikes, which are learner bikes. So we've got various um, capabilities and various age levels within the group. Um, and the seniors tend to keep the young, younger ones at bay. So it's more safer riding collectively in a group than you would do on your own. So how many people are there in the group? Uh, actively riding with us about 15 to 20 uh, people riding. On our Facebook, we have got more members on there, about 35 to 40 members yeah. on Facebook. So the group's growing um, more and more. Uh, as months go by and I think you know it, it is a good thing we're seeing that there's a big community out there but they don't know who to or how to you know who to ride with mm. or where to go because everyone's looking for you know a group to ride with but not yeah. everyone's into different kinds of things like there's a conflict of 
I think hobbies, like Tayo was saying before, a lot of bike groups, you know, they'll go have a drink or mm-hmm. etc. You know, so as a Muslim group, we want to keep things halal. So if you go out for ride outs, we want to have fun, but at the same time, go to uh, halal restaurants. And yeah, I mean, our yeah. hashtags are sp- uh, super sports bikes, um, salah. Okay. So um, those are our hashtags, and we yeah. try to stick within the limits. Um, but like I said, on the group, we've got an uh, active WhatsApp group with 25, 30 people. So, for example, last weekend we went a ride for 30 of us, went, uh, no, sorry, 15 of us went for a ride yeah. out of the 30. So, you know, and like as of today, somebody's put on, does anybody fancy a ride tonight? So if somebody's available, they can go together. And, you know, sometimes two people might go, sometimes three. Um, so it depends, totally depends on the day, yeah, on the weather, on the availability, yeah, whoever's free, the work patterns. Just so, yeah. arrange so it's not a, a set day each month or anything like that? Is it whoever no, wants to? it could be any time. could be right now, straight then. after this interview. Yeah. We're out there riding, yeah, whoever's yeah. free. And that's it, really. Sometimes till six yeah. in the morning, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go. We'll leave, sometimes we'll leave six in the evening and we won't get home till six, seven in the morning. Really? Um, what yeah. do you do all that time? Well, we'll go places uh, far yeah. away. Um, if it's a really long trip, yeah. we'll actually book a hotel right, and okay, so. you know just stay over somewhere. Uh, and you know, because biking can take you any route, really. Yeah. It, there's no destination. It's, it's not take the destination; you anywhere. it's the actual journey. Yeah, the, that, that, the yeah. journey, the experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, you got to ride a bike to understand. Yeah. Yeah. So, do, yeah. does one of you uh, plan the route? We uh, plan it between uh, ourselves realistically. I mean, yeah. uh, a couple of weekends ago, we went to Sheffield. Okay. Uh, I mean, we left Rochdale at about five, six o'clock. Um, actually, we played in Maghrib, so left about half six. And we took the um, Snake Pass, went some local routes, ended up there, and we played Isha um, in Sheffield. And I don't think we got back till about midnight, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we stopped in, stopped off in Bradford on the way, um, oh, got a burger, go in, in there if anyone's passing by. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. But yeah, we passed by, had a, and by the time we got back home, it was about midnight. So yeah. um, it is quite literally just, sometimes we just put on our gear, we get on the bikes and we just go, um, sort of thing. And it's just whatever we end up, we end up really. Okay, so Ty, you said before that yeah. you do some fundraising events. Yeah. Are you affiliated to a charity, or are you a charity yourself, or do you just so, do, um, do people approach you? We're not we're not a charity group ourselves. Um, we have worked with and we have collaborated with other charity organisations. So we've collected money for Yemen so far uh, with the charity. Uh, we've done um, collections for Syria. So um, we'll take the bikes out. You know, we'll give it a bit of revs, we'll get the buckets out and people tend to come see the bikes or they tend to mm-hmm. throw a few coins in the pot. Mm-hmm. We've also given, distributed, um, so we've gone out on the bikes and we've distributed um, um, hats, gloves, scarves over winter and food packages for the homeless last November, December. Um, we've also done sleepovers in tents as well, raising money with different charities. Uh, we've worked with a ch- local charity called One Nation, which is just up the road from here. Mm-hmm. And we're also planning... Um, an event to um, it's called a peace ride so mm-hmm. we're doing um, for the um, unfortunate event that happened in New Zealand okay. so it's going to be a peace ride but we're also going to be raising money for children for prosthetic limbs for children in Syria as well mm-hmm. so we don't um, collect money ourselves but we work and collaborate with other charities because um, uh, they're best at raising money we just ride and attend really yes yeah, so we're like volunteers um basically we like yeah. to volunteer and help mm-hmm. out other charities out there so we're not a registered charity okay. but we would like to do what we can to volunteer so how, to help do, the how do the charities collect the money do, do they come with you or do you get sponsored or how does that work well I- in the past what's happened is we've created the uh, links on gofundme pages right, so okay. the charity will uh, create their own links their own um, promotions and what have you and they'll use our uh, bikes they'll use our um, you know our our names and our um, our media uh, for example our Instagram page our her Facebook page to share mm-hmm. what we can share and we'll collectively share everything um, however the charities do their own promotion and normally bikes tend to sort of attract a lot of people because uh, in the Muslim there are a lot of Muslims riding bikes mm-hmm. but I think collectively there's not many groups out there uh, especially in the northwest we found mm-hmm. um so it's quite um yeah it's quite an attraction piece really well, it's the first one i've heard of and josh mm. was telling me about it the other day and yeah. i thought it sounds really interesting and something worth advertising because i know there's a lot of people mm. that wouldn't know that you exist 
Yeah. And do you advertise yourselves anywhere? Well, do you actively recruit members or do you just uh, let them come to find you? And yeah, we're recruiting all the time, aren't we? Yeah. Um, you know, whether it's through our social network medium, um, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, Instagram's doing really well for us right now. Okay. Um, it's just Crescent Riders. It's just hashtag. Yeah. If you just type in Crescent Riders, it's yeah. all one word, Crescent Riders. And you can see all our posts there, what we get up to, what we've been doing, any charities mm. you know, we've been involved with, etc. And also, even when we're just riding, going to a cafe, or people will see the bikes parked up outside. And just that alone has generated a lot of members to Crescent mm. Riders. People approach you, say, oh, are you, you know, is that your bike? Are you in a bike group? I'd say, yeah, we're going to wear Crescent Riders. All right, okay, and then they just join up, and there you go. It's just, it's just um, yeah. that's how it is, really. So with do you our have group. a criteria who can join? Can anyone join? Uh, we're all inclusive, so I know we say we're a Muslim bike group. Mm-hmm. Um, at the moment, all our members are Muslim. Um, it's just where we've met them through Masjid, through mm-hmm. um, the Shisha place, um, place, and um, through barbers actually as well. There's a brother we just mm-hmm. saw his bike outside a barb shop, yeah. and he came out. I think he might have been scared. There were six guys stood around his bike. Yeah. He thought, "What's going on here?" We recruited him. Mm-hmm. Um, but in terms of yeah, we're all inclusive. Um, we have, I mean, no drinking, um, and when people are riding, we ensure that they have the full safety gear on yeah. so we would turn away people if they turned up with just shorts and a t-shirt on for example mm-hmm. um, and we also make sure that they're fully they've got the full licenses we make sure they've got you know they are legal to ride where we're riding because mm-hmm. we wouldn't want one member of the group to let the whole team group down, down yeah. or the team yeah. down yeah. so yeah. you know we have different rule uh, rules um, and different roles within the organization but we also make sure everyone's safe yeah is it like, an all male yeah. group? Uh, at the moment, yeah, uh, we have been in the past. We have discussed um, like an all female Crescent Rider group, but again, we're trying to find, you know, if there's any female, female riders out there. There is, there, there but again, be, yeah. they're in that same boat as other Muslim male riders. Like, they, you know, they're, they're a bit alone out there and mm-hmm. they're not found. Would their you not have to a ride mixed with. group? I suppose we could. Yeah, group? Uh, you know, could, we can have a mixed group. I think uh, I, I don't see. Any issues with that? Yeah, we can do, yeah. But I don't think um, we've just been approached by any female... Well, we have not been approached, yeah, by any riders, female... Unless you want to be the first one to start, well, and you shall yeah. you know... Uh, I don't think I'll be getting <laughs> on a bike anytime soon. I think my aunt, my aunt is interested. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she as, is, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think she said she wants to take some there, lessons. There are a few ladies I know that do like riding bikes, um, but I don't know, you know... I, I, never, I never even heard of your yeah. group. I mean, I've seen the leather-clad, yeah. bearded guys at the... Um, a lifestyle festival in a town there was a big group there that turned up yeah well i've never yeah. never seen you out and about anywhere yeah um well we're, 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 we're here now now you yeah. know about us so yeah now it's great it's great to yeah. let people know that these things exist in yeah. rochdale um and the surrounding areas yeah. yeah and even if you know you don't have to ride a bike to be you know part of crescent riders even if you just want to meet up with us because we're not always out on our bikes are we sometimes yeah. it might be raining and we want to go to a cafe you know, on Wimsler Road, yeah. um, you know, we invite anyone who haven't got bikes just to come meet us, just to talk about motorbikes. Yeah. You don't have to have a Would motorbike. You take passengers on your bike. Yeah, as long so as we're, f- yeah, if we're fully insured uh, to carry pillion passengers, that's the main thing. You got to be insured. Then I will happily carry a pillion passenger. Yeah, I'm quite experienced ca- carrying uh, pillion okay. pillions. So yeah, we have so certain people in yeah. our group that would. And again, it would also depend on the safety gear as well. Mm. I mean, I would never take. I mean, I've. I take my children, I take my wife and what have you, but um, it's always, you've got to make sure you've got the right equipment on. So, uh, you know, you have to be wearing something heavy like denim jeans or wearing the leather leathers or, mm. you know, full ankle shoes. Mm. Um, I would never take anybody out in flip-flops or, forget helmets. or what have you. Yeah. Helmets is yeah, a legal helmets, requirement. Yeah. So would they have to bring <laughs> their own helmet? Uh, We've yeah. probably got enough helmets. We've got so. enough helmets now. I think over the years I've got yeah. four so helmets now. So what I'm asking is, if somebody's interested and they want to see what you do and yeah. how you do yeah. it, and they want you to just come along for the ride, as it were, this first time, or so they can just approach you through your Instagram. Yeah. Account, definitely, yeah, they can Facebook. do, yeah, definitely, yeah, of course, yeah. And I always like to educate my passengers. You know, my pillions. Uh, there's a technique on being a passenger. You can't just jump on. Right. Like if you're leaning with the bike on the corner, they've got to lean in with you 
So they're part of the actual ride. Mm. Um, a lot of pe- passengers don't know this. Uh, a lot of people, they think, oh, I'll just jump on a bike. There's actually more to it. It's actually quite fun for the passengers. Yeah. So when you take off, they're going to hold on to you. When you, you're braking in traffic lights, they've got to make sure they've got one hand behind you so they don't you know, f- bang into, bang into yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of so things not, for a passenger. It's not like uh, in Pakistan or Bangladesh, the way they ride in other No. <laughs> no you, don't don't bring like your whole that. family along. <laughs> <laughs> we can't don't, carry more than one person yeah, at a time. Bring your, yeah, family <laughs> along. Yeah. 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 So do you do appearances at other events um, if there's like an event going on? So like in Rochdale, there is yeah. the Feel Good Festival, there are other things. Would you appear at something like this to promote yourself at your group? Uh, we, uh, um, I mean... Or have yeah. you ever done? If we invited, we yeah. would turn up. At this moment in time, we've not been invited to any events mm. uh, such as that to turn up or whatever, so we've not been invited to formally yeah. turn up. We have, like I said, we're doing this peace ride um, in um, so we're riding to Leicester on the 27th of April mm. so over there what they've done is they've actually got a formal area for the bikes where once we get there we'll park the bikes up and okay. what have you but yeah if anybody invited us uh, you know to show our bikes or for people to see then we would definitely turn up Okay. Yeah. So this uh, ride that you're doing to Leicester, this is the next fundraising event. That's the next fundraising and who event. Who is it for again? So we're working in collaboration with One, One Nation, mm-hmm. uh, and what we're doing is we're doing, it's a peace and solidarity ride for um, the incident that happened in New Zealand, but also it's a fundraiser for um, ch- uh, children in Syria who have lost limbs, uh, and we're getting prosthetics for them. So it's uh, something that's close uh, to our hearts, you know children especially and what have you so um uh, we're doing a combined so we're inviting other riders from any of the group mm-hmm. anybody who's um you know riding solo anybody who's you know who just wants to join for that ride we're going to be leaving rochdale roughly about half past 10 11 o'clock in the morning okay. um and then riding to leicester and a saturday, on a saturday yeah and uh, posters and um, um links will be on our crescent riders instagram page shortly and the one nation page um if you want to donate to the event as well so we're happy to work with any charity out there um as long as we believe uh, in the um in, in the cause yeah. we're happy to ride out of our own you know, goodness of our hearts so really yeah okay so apart from charity events yeah. can people hire you to attend events as a I, w- I don't want to say gimmick, but do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They As probably a, can do. So you're talking about proms, event, weddings, yeah. Uh, Could, yeah. Um, uh, what? Yeah, yeah. Of course they can. Yeah, of course they can. We've not really something that I've yeah. been thinking about, and you know, people have asked me, you know, or oh, uh, even kids like, can yeah. I um, on the on the, the, on the on back of your bike? Can I go, go on your bike to my prom? Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I think they want to, but then their parents get scared, yeah. and they say, right, no, you can't go on that bike. It's dangerous. So. On those circumstances, I've had to cancel these kind of, you know, yeah. f- yeah, invites and but events. But you're open to the idea if yeah. someone wanted to. They could Definitely. Have it's yeah. the children, like I said, the, the children are happy, but it's the parents that get mm. yeah. second thoughts realistically. And, and it's mainly is, Asian yeah. communities I'm yeah. that are you know what it is? putting it's people off bikers. There's a yeah. notion of the motorbike yeah. being more dangerous than a car. That's what it is. In, in the UK, the motorbikes are probably safer than they are back home. Yeah. Uh, the difference here is you're, you're fully leathered up, you're yeah. fully geared up. And the roads are you. better. Um, and as a collective group, we are, yeah. we're all quite, I'll say, elderly uh, or experienced or mature in terms of old, riding. No, we're, not <laughs> we're not that old. We're not elderly. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> you're not yeah, teenagers. So no, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if we were like in our 20s, I mean, we have got some younger riders who tend to sort of speed off here there, but in a group... We'll assign each each other with um, positions and responsibilities. And, yeah. We'll say there. So I'd say it's actually safer here because you've got helmets, you've got gloves. So if it was a young teen going to a prom, for example, we would never ever let them ride without a helmet yeah. or whatever. You we'd, we'd always ride together. So we've got our protocols. Mm. Um, if you want to do something like that, then, then Crescent Riders isn't really the group for you. You know, we're not into the wheelies. We're not into the um, you know when you watch on TV when. You know, when bikers are just making a, a mess of it, or mm. it's promoting There's a good time and a place for things like that. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm not so saying basically yeah, it's know. a social club and yeah. you're promoting Islam and you're promoting, yeah. promoting safe riding. Definitely, yeah. 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 So again, once again, yeah. how do the people contact you? Through Instagram. Uh, if you type in Crescent Riders on Instagram, mm-hmm. or you can find us on Facebook uh, as well. On um, and the same name, Instagram. Uh, so, sorry, I mean Crescent Riders on Facebook as well. So, yeah, that's the best way to contact us. All right. Just inbox us, send us a message, or comment on any of our posts, you know, we'll pick up your message. 
I'm always replying. Uh, I manage the Instagram page, okay. so I'm always looking at that. So yeah, if anybody yeah. wants to get in touch, by all means. Maybe, maybe through Crescent Radio, you know. Maybe is it? Oh yeah, yeah we're part of the same group. Yeah. Oh yeah, hold on, <laughs> it's in the same name, Crescent Radio and Crescent Riders. Yeah. Which realize. came first? So you, you Did like you copy our name or no, you didn't? I think our. So, I think our logo is mm. a lot better than yours, though. Yeah. I must say, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but um, I'm not seeing it yet, but I will do. <laughs> I'll have a look.